Grundfos is one of the world's leading pump manufacturers and has been renowned for its innovative and reliable solutions since the humble beginnings in 1945. Today the company produces more than 16 million pump units every year for a wide range of application areas, from circulators for heating and air conditioning to industrial pumps, solutions for water supply, wastewater and district heating. The company's vast experience with district heating dates back 50 years. The Scandinavian district heating is the most efficient and reliable heating system in the world, and the Grundfos technology is a proud part of that legacy. District cooling is not as well known as district heating, but it's based on much of the same principle. While district heating distributes hot water in an underground network of pipes, district cooling distributes cold water for cooling of buildings and industries. Uh, the initiative was that we want to do something about the waste energy. And, and to do that we need to solve a, a problem which had been that we need uh, some storage uh, uh, possibilities for the heat during the summer period. And uh, since we have been talking about this since the, uh, since the 80s and we didn't solve that problem, we have seen now during the six or seven last years, the years that we actually are able to, uh, to, to store energy in the, in, the, in the groundwater and that was actually the main reason for starting this project. Uh, we actually talking about two, uh, two systems. The one system is uh, the, the cooling with the groundwater, which we call an aquifer, where we are able to store the energy during the summer period. And the other system is the energy central, where we have the, the cooling machinery, which we are using during the winter time and for, for, for re-cooling uh, uh, the aquifer system again, so it will be ready for the next summer period. We choose uh, Biangbo District Heat Company because we have a professional partner who is actually able to, uh, to handle uh, complex energy systems. That is the one reason. Another reason is that they provide us with a lot of different uh, ideas which uh, fits very, very good into uh, what we would like to do in Grundfos. Når man laver køling og varme på samtid, så er det jo strengt taget to sider af samme sag. Så det med at lave koldt vand og distribuere, eller lave varmt vand og distribuere, det er i princippet de samme mekanismer, der går igen. Det er de samme ting, vi skal fokusere på. Ja, men pumperne, de, bestiller, de stiller en helt afgørende rolle i det her projekt, fordi da projektet er bygget op om, at vi cirkulerer koldt og varmt vand, så er det således, at hvis ikke vi kunne cirkulere det kolde og varme vand, så fungerer et anlæg overhovedet ikke. Og dernæst så er der jo, vi har tre kredsløb. Vi har et koldvandskredsløb, vi har et fjernvarmekredsløb, og vi har et grundvandskredsløb. Og det betyder, at man har tre forskellige typer pumper, og tre forskellige slags pumper, som skal være egnet til hver sit formål. Og så vil det jo sige, at vi har pumper installeret på vores varmeværk, der har siddet i mange år, og mange af dem har kørt langt over 100.000 drifttimer, og de virker upåklageligt. Og det er for os at se, at når vi vælger at bruge de pumper for rundt for os, så har vi i hvert fald valgt at få en rigtig leverandør. We have three separate cooling circuits, or rather the research facility has three separate cooling circuits. And we are providing cold water at 7 degrees, at 23 degrees, and then we're keeping a combined cooling and heating circuit at a constant temperature of 48 degrees. I think one reason is that they really don't want 
chillers out in the research facility for various reasons. They are slightly noisy and they give vibrations. Um, that is one reason. Uh, I think uh, the other reason is really the heat recovery option that is what we can provide with this centralized solution. The reason why Gonfos was chosen, they said that you have to sh sh fix the problem f with sound and uh, frequencies uh, uh, from the pumps. We have a really important requirement was that they don't want any vibrations from any type of equipment. We should have pumps with uh, over-synchronized motors and uh, EA3 motors. Uh, they also want to have us to have a, a local service in, so we can uh, help them if they have some problems. And uh, they want to have a, a five years warranty about the pumps. The Grundfos pumps are both distributing the cooling to the free cooling circuits and are also uh, distributing the heat into the district heating system in England. The advantages of district cooling ranges from the obliterated need for expensive and complicated equipment based at the customers to the use of free cooling, often done with deep lakes or deep oceans. Finally, a huge advantage in district cooling system is that you can achieve much higher efficiency, either from the large chiller based at the district cooling plant or by the use of excess heat from industries and power production by the use of absorption chillers. When choosing a pumping solution for a district energy system, the most important factor is choosing the right pump for the job. No matter where in the world the system is located, a Grundfos specialist is nearby to assist with the selection of the right pump for the job. Whether the pump is placed with the heat production source, the substation or in a home, energy saving is guaranteed by choosing a pump that can automatically adjust the pressure and flow needed and not a bar or cubic meter more 